back to my channel. Today I have a very, very special video. I'm going to be showing you my record collection. I have been collecting records for um, a couple years, but I only had like a collection of like four or three or four records and um, over the past month, couple months, I've been collecting more records. Now I have a total of 28. I'm still collecting. It's a very small collection to me, but I'm proud of what I have and I'm very thankful for what I do have. Now, um, I have 27 33s and 145. So I'm going to show you the 145 first. So this is my 145. <laughs> it's One Direction. Um, this is actually a limited edition exclusive one. Um, so the slip is just clear. And then we have the record itself. It has, of course, two sides. On the first side, um, the song is Midnight Memories, and on the second side, it's Rock Me. They're kind of dressed Motley Crue-esque, I guess. That's what I heard that they were going for, was like Motley Crue-esque. And on the slip, there is more than a minute list of songs. On the other side, it's just another picture of them dressed in their 80s rock and roll style outfits. <laughs> So that is my first one. That's the only 45 as of October 2019 that I own, but I really like it. It's a really cool one too. Now with the 33s, I have, like I said, I have 27 33s. They're all mostly rock-ish. There's some 80s pop, some now pop, some kind of random ones, but they're mostly rock, hard rock, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to show you them at random. I had them organized into alphabetical, but for now I'm just going to show them to you at random because it's funner that way. I don't listen to this one that much, but it's Charlie Puth. Puth, Puth, I don't know how to pronounce it. One track, nine track, mind. Um, he is kind of famous. People my age would know who he is. He kind of has a 50s style sound to some of his songs. And there is the song listing, and the other side just shows the back side of him. And then the slip. Um, this is the first side slip. It just has him, half his face, and the song tracks and their lyrics. On the other side is just the same thing, but those songs and the lyrics. The record album isn't anything special. It's just a regular black record album with a yellow middle. We have ACDC Back in Black. Now, I forgot to say the Charlie Puth one I did buy brand new. Well, I think my mom got it for me. But we got that one brand new. This one is actually from the 80s. I think it's the 80s. It's either the late 70s or 80s. But... Whenever Back in Black came out. I'm not sure about that. It probably says on the inside. But this is an original from them. It was one of my parents and they gave it to me. Um, it has the song lists on the back. It's just a plain black cover with white um, highlight and font. Then the slip. The slip is in not the greatest condition. But on one side... It talks about the copyrights and the thank yous and stuff. And then on this side, there's pictures of the band and them singing all the different um, the vocals and the instrument players. See, it's kind of in bad shape. I had to tape the sides. And it's just a regular black Atlantic record. So that is number two. I love ACDC. In this video, you'll see a trend. I have a lot of ACDC records. The next one I have is a band that I just recently um, started listening to some more. I knew about them, but um, I just actually got this one in the mail yesterday, or no, two days ago. It's Jefferson Starship. 
nuclear furniture. Yes, there is a chair there. Um, on the back, it just lists the songs and the on the so like around the record. Uh, I couldn't think of the word. And then this is what really I thought this was hilarious. Um, so on this side is a chair, and there's a bunch of different chair puns. So as you can see, there's like different chair puns, like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Or Gone with the Chair, Winston Churchill. I think it's hilarious. And then um, on the other side, it has like one of those nuclear atomic symbols. And all the um, songs and their lyrics and who wrote them. And then the record itself is just a plain black record. And it has a green chair on it. <laughs> I really like this record and this band. They're from the 70s and 80s. So let me find the next one. So the next one is one of my newer albums that I bought brand new. It's Ed Sheeran Plus. I love Ed Sheeran. He's one of my, he's one of the only modern artists I like. It's a complete orange um, album cover with kind of this white dot art picture of him with a plus sign at the bottom. Um, on the back you have the track list and the copyrights and stuff. And then on the inside, which I was kind of surprised by this, it's just a plain white cover. And this is so cool. This is the coolest. It's an orange record. I love this. And it has the plus sign and the track list on both sides. I think it's the coolest. I love colored records. I think they're so cool. And I own two of them. And this is one of them. Okay, the next one I have, I bought at Goodwill. I just thought it was kind of neat. It's 22 Golden Hits of 1978. Million selling songs by the sound effects so it's different songs from the 1970s like um staying alive um you're the one that i want from greece um baker street different songs from the 1970s or 1978 rather and then the slip there's actually two records in here. They have the same similar white slip as the other one. And they're just two different records. They're plain black records. But they have um, all the songs on there. There's 22 songs in the record set. I forgot there were two records in that one. The next record I have is one that a lot of people that collect records my age have. Is the Harry Styles record. Just his solo record. Um, just a picture of him and his wet back and necklace. And then on the back, we have the track list and a picture of him, more of him in the water. <laughs> and then, I think this is really cool. Um, the inside is just a picture of him. <laughs> and there's two parts. The first part is a booklet, a large booklet, the same size as the cover, the picture of him on it, and it just has all the different songs and their lyrics and stuff. And then on the other side, on the other side we have, um, a regular white slip again and um, just the record album itself so the next one we have which is one I also bought at Goodwill it's called the greatest motion picture piano concertos <laughs> and these are just by this guy named George Greeley he did different um, songs theme songs from movies like from Milan Rouge and my favorite theme from Gone with the Wind 
um, and some other movies. And on the back, it just talks about the movies that is in this. They're Warner Brothers movies. And then this part um, is by Command Records. This part just talks about different records they have that you could buy. So it's pretty cool. I love that vintage smell. And just there is the record. It's the same on both sides. One we have. This is also what I bought new. Dirty Dancing, one of my favorite movies, um, with Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. It shows um, different songs from the movie and pictures from that scene. Um, it's a really good record. It's They sell older ones like this from when the movie was actually popular, but I just had recently bought this one at Walmart like a couple months ago. So... On the slip, it shows the songs and the lyrics and some pictures from the movie. And this is my other colored record, which you can't get this from the older ones. It is a purple record, which is so pretty. It's by RCA and just has the track list on both sides. So the next record I have, my mom gave me. My parents have a huge record collection, so they generously gave me some of these. Um, this is the soundtrack to Gone with the Wind from 1939. I love Gone with the Wind. It's the movie I'm named after. I love that movie so much. As you can see back there, I have a book collection. <laughs> Which, if you'd like to see a video of my book collection, I, I want to do that too. But this is by the Charles... Gerhard, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, National Philharmonic Orchestra, Max Steiner's classic film score. So on the back, it has different pictures of, from the movie, of Scarlett and everybody else. And on our slip, there is just pictures of different movies and soundtracks and stuff you can buy from RCA and it's the same on the other side and then um, the record itself is just plain black I think there's something else in here what's this? there's something else in here oh it's just a slip that are more like a small booklet I think it's a small booklet yeah, that tells about the um, movie and the record and the music from the movie. So that's pretty cool. The next record I have is Bon Jovi. This one was given to me used. It's 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit from the 1980s. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh. And it has the track list and the copyrights and stuff. And then the sleeve. Ooh, that was a little stuff. The sleeve has different pictures of them traveling around and stuff doing concerts. And on the back is the lyrics and track list. And we just have a regular black, black record. So the next record I have, this one was also given to me by my mother, is Queen, A Night at the Opera. I noticed they sell this one brand new too. You can buy it in um, Walmart and stuff. But it has like the credits and stuff on the back. And it opens up like a book and has the track list and lyrics, some pictures. I think something's trying to come out. Oh yeah, the bottom, since it's so old, it's falling apart. But anyways, here's the record with a plain white slip. This one is in um, okay condition, it's kind of worn. But the record itself has a few scratches, but otherwise it is ACDC high voltage so the front is just a picture of Angus 
and a light bolt. In the back is different writings and stuff and some pictures. And we got a plain gray slip with the Atlantic group on it. And just a plain black record. So that one's a good one. I've listened to that one many times. That was one of my dad's and he let me have it. So thanks dad. So the next record I'm going to show you is one of my favorite bands. Um, I just actually got this one in the mail today from eBay. It's Starship No Protection. And on the front it has the band in their sunglasses except for these two. Gray Slick and I think that's Donnie Baldwin if I'm correct. Yep, I was right. Um, but there is the track list including the ever famous Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now from the movie Mannequin. There's pictures of the band. Gray Slick, Mickey Thomas, Donnie Baldwin, and that's Craig. I can't pronounce the name. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> and um, on the inside slip, it has them again. Everyone's wearing sunglasses except for her. And on the other side, it has the track list. And the copyrights and thank yous. And it's just the plain black record, which I was fascinated by how good a condition this was. I just got it today. I still need to listen to it and leave feedback. But what I have listened to so far sounds really good. And um, I love them so much. I love their music. And I was so excited to get it. So that's a good record to get. It was cheap. It was only like... 10 bucks I think I got it for so it's really good so the next record I have which is one of my favorites um, is the babies um, I think this is Union Jack yeah Union Jack that's the name of their album um, and it just has a track list on the back and the copyrights and a leather jacket and then this one slip is a little bit different than the others a plastic slip and I'm not going to take the record out because you can see it chrysalis it's by and it's a plain black record both sides. The next one is this band called Michael Stanley they're from Cleveland I'm from Ohio so my mom always has loved them so she kind of got me into them it's called Michael Stanley Cabin Fever the band is on the front and um, just a funny picture on the back with the track list. And um, the slip is just the track list and lyrics. And then a plain black record. They're really good. They never became very famous. But around Ohio, a lot of people knew them. Know them. And that's where I'm from. So... How I know. And plus, my mom loves them. <laughs> so, the next record I have is one of the newer bands that I got brand new because I used to love One Direction. I mean, they're okay, but I don't really listen to them that much anymore. But One Direction made in the AM, it's the album they made after Zayn left that they never toured because they broke up. On the back, we have the track list and their beautiful faces. And what's cool about this one is there's two records. And on each record slip, we have the band in their beautiful glory. And they're both just plain black records. So I really like that record. That's a nice one. I don't really listen to it much anymore because of the other options I have, but it's pretty cool. So the next one is The Police. My mom also gave me this one. Um, it is Police. Okay. I'm going to butcher this. Outlandos de Amor. <laughs> I pronounced that wrong. Um... 
it's, I guess it's just a record name, but it has some of their songs on it, like, um, Roxanne, <laughs> and, um, just the copyrights, and then, it's just a plain white slip, and the, um, track list, and a, just a regular black record. So the next record I have is another one of my favorites. It's Starship, Knee Deep in the Hoopla. It's a cartoon version of them. And then on the back, it's the same picture, but them in real life, I guess you could say. But I really like them. And the slip is a picture of them jumping around and stuff and them again on the back and a black record I really do like them they're pretty cool I feel like they have a bad rap because of We Built This City but We Built This City in my opinion is actually a pretty good song I don't understand I guess people maybe got annoyed because they played it on the radio so much but another, my, another one of my records is, this is a thick boy, it's One Direction 4, as you can see I was obsessed with them, I have all their records, because they only released like three, <laughs> um, but it's, it has pictures of them, then on the back, the track list, this is a two record record album again, and then in the middle it has the name of the album, and pictures of them and the first record is just two pictures of them on the sleeve and the plain black record <coughs> sorry my voice is getting hoarse I'm talking too much and then the other one is the same thing except different pictures so and plain black So that one's pretty neat. I like that one. I don't really listen to it much anymore. And then this is one my mom recently gave me. Meatloaf Bad Out of Hell. And it has Meatloaf himself on the back. And some interesting picture <laughs> and the track list and then the record sleeve just has the songs and lyrics on it and a plain black record with the orange sleeve no <laughs> So, the next one I have is another Michael Stanley band. My mom gave me this one. It's never been open. Um, it's called North Coast. And there's a track list on the back. And, of course, I can't show you the sleeve because it's not open. I'm not going to open it just for a video. But, 33 cents. That was so cheap. Um, but if you've never listened to them, I really recommend giving them a listen. They're pretty great. And the next one I have is ACDC Power Age. And on the back it just has them, the track list, the copyrights. I think this is another one my dad gave me. Um, also by the Atlantic Group. And plain black background. We are getting towards the end, people. I didn't think it'd take this long to show 20, 28 records, but I guess I was wrong. So the next one I have is by Queen. It's called The Game. It's in a silver um, slip. And it has the track list, just like everything else, and the copyright. And... um. 
pictures of them, track list, lyrics, and record. Black record. The Jefferson Airplane. They are from the 60s. Sorry. <laughs> They're from the 60s. They are actually Jefferson Starship, but they went from Jefferson Airplane to Jefferson Starship to Starship, and this was one of their first albums. Um... On the back, it has the track list and lyrics, just like most of the other ones. And this one doesn't have a slip. I'm wondering if this is the slip. I'm not sure, but it's just a plain record. This is really thin compared to the other ones. So I'm wondering if this is maybe just the slip. I don't know. I might be actually missing the... Um, sleeve itself but that's that's cool and next we have ACDC Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap we have all of our songs on the back and a pretty pretty picture kind of of palm trees and it looks like an old store that sells water beds and sorry my bangs are getting in the way and an old car and then we have the slip and for some reason all their eyes have like black bars over them I don't know why but the slip has all the names of the songs and the lyrics and then the record itself is right here. Plain old black record. So that's a nice one. We are getting towards the end, folks. We have two more to go. Two more. Okay. So our next one is our last Michael Stanley one. It's called The Greatest Hits. Which is really cool. This is the DJ version. And I didn't realize that when I purchased this. So it's probably kind of an exclusive one. And it has their song names on the back. And the band's fingerprints. Which is kind of neat. Because you don't see that on many um, record albums. And you have the track list right here. And pictures of the band. And. A regular black record album so that one's pretty neat it's a good record too um, and last we have Jefferson Starship Ooh, there's some dust red octopus this is what my mom gave me it has a picture of the band the track list and copyrights And the slip is red just like the um, cover. And we got a black record. So, pretty cool. So, guys, that is my record collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you'd like me to do other collection videos like um, book collection I have a ton of coloring books that would be a fun video um, I have dolls I have literally any kind of collection you could think of I'm not trying to brag I just own a lot so if you want to see another collection video I have a ton of Gone with the Wind stuff I have a lot of makeup um, books so if you want to see another collection video I would be so happy to do it or you just want to talk about more records with me about these cool bands that I just showed you, then comment down, be comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.